right so in this lecture we are going to work with the barcode so in the earlier lecture you have already seen we have worked with the qr code and it is running successfully with the capacitor plugin but for the cordova plugin which we use the qr code was not working in android mode because there was some error like i already showed you if you have rectified that then it's great if you haven't then you can simply go for the capacitor plugin which i have shown you all right so let's go ahead and work with the barcode too. So what I'll do out here in the home page, I will write bar and QR code or QR and barcode will look nice, right? Let's tweak that QR and barcode. So that's my title right now. And what am I going to do out here? Well, I've added a header. Let me just cut this. It was, it was in this manner earlier, right? Now, if I add this up, ion contained header then it's going to show up in this particular manner which is looking pretty lovely according to me and then what am i going to do i'm going to copy this up let me copy this card properly and i'll paste it once again for our barcode all right and i will name it as b a r barcode all right and i'll remove this qr code from here because that's not what we need okay and at last we are going to have this scan button now scan qr code i will remove this and i will simply have the scan button in this particular manner because the scanning for barcode and qr code will be the same one right we are not using a different functionality for that as if you scan the barcode it's going to give you the barcode one and if you are scanning the qr code it's going to give you the result for that so that's what we are going to do out here now all right this is fine this is for the scanned result that is the QR code scanned result and I'll have one more. So what am I going to do? Well, this particular stuff, this ion item, I'll cut this and I will paste it after the ion card of QR code in this particular manner and I'll name it as QR code, QR code scanned result. All right. And similarly, I will have one out here too. This is the one and I'll name it as barcode scan result in this particular manner. But this one will change. I'll let me rename it to bar scan result. I think that will be fine. Okay. Let's create this up. I'll go to the TypeScript file and out here. What am I going to do after this? Let me paste it of type any. Okay. Now this is the QR code script string that we have used for the qr code one now for the barcode one what am i going to do well i'm going to have another string out here so i'll just simply paste it barcode string this is a secret barcode message just the same thing only right so this will be our message that i'm going to have and which url am i going to use for generating the barcode let me just show you that part at first so let me just paste it out here at first so that you can get it from here directly so this will be our url I will be using JS barcode one, which I've already opened up out here. So this is the one that we are going to use. So we need to simply install it up. So I'll copy this up from here and open another shell and paste it out here simply so that it gets installed. All right, this is installed now. So what am I going to do? Let's check it out how we can use this up. So there are some examples how you can use it. So this is how you need to use it up. All right, you can pass a message out here and this is the identifier for that particular ID where you're passing it, fine. And I think this is the one that we need to use, all right. But I will not give any hidden width out here, most probably. Let me check it out. There are a lot of stuff that you can use, all right. But I'll let me show you what exactly I'm going to use out here. So let me simply copy this particular example. I'll copy this up and I'll go out here into the code and I'll just scroll down. Well, let's do it in the ng on in it only. Where do we have that? We don't have it actually. We can do it in the constructor also, but I will use ng on in it actually. That will be better. The spelling was wrong. Now it is corrected. I'll give a comma out here and we need to import it up. I will be capital, I suppose. Yeah. Now I will import it up. So now this is imported. Once that is imported, I can simply use the ng on in it. So ng on in it and out here I'm going to paste it up fine and this one I will simply import it from JS barcode. Now you can see this is imported. Once that is done everything is good to go. This things well I don't need to use it up. If you want to use you can definitely give a width and height of your own. You can give the line color also if you want to and the format well there are a lot of formats that it is it can take maybe. 
so you can just check this thing up if you want to all right i think uh, for using this particular formats you need to have this particular urls or the cdns in your index.html file then only it's going to work otherwise it's going to give you some errors so make sure you have this up i'm not going to use it so i don't need it if you want definitely like you can right click on this and it's going to open up you can simply copy this particular url and have it in your index.html even if you want i will show you out here index.html out here in the link you can simply pass it up all right not in the link actually you need to pass it in the script all right you need to make a script tag and within that you need to pass it up so that's what you need to do and everything will work as expected so i'll just close it for the time being and out here not in fact here out here this is done so we will have that particular one now i need to create an image tag because it will give us an image so out here in the barcode one in the ion content i will simply pass an image tag in this particular manner where i'll pass the id to be the barcode one and you can see these lines are showing up pretty nicely and if you want to change the color well you if i just uncomment this up you will see a change in the color and there we go so the color is also changed out here so that's how you can play around with this particular data and for the format like i said you need to play around with that cdn one then only you can work with it otherwise you can download that particular uh, file and work with it or the code and in another file and you can put it in your assets folder and from there on you can directly call it in your index.html again so that's also going to work but i think cdn will be very nice to work with anyways let's move ahead so we are good to go we have the barcode and qr code ready out here now let's check our scan function so start scanning well it's going to scan anything so how we are going to track whether which one is actually scanned all right so actually the scan result will show in one place only so why am i having two things instead i will have only one thing only that will be better uh, i cannot like revert it because it's very hard for me to detect whether it is a qr code or a barcode which one is being scanned out here so the easiest way is to do one thing uh, well let me simply comment this one all right and i'll go to the html out here after the barcode one well i'm going to have this particular scanned result only and i'll change this to scan result one okay if you scan a barcode it's going to show the barcode one it's if you have scanned the qr code it's going to show the qr code one and this one let me comment it up for the timing if you want definitely you can play around with this but i'm not sure whether to how to detect it or you have to place it separately in separate pages or in separate models then i think it will be better mostly it happens in that way only but out here i'm just showing you how to work with this together all right it won't happen in such a way but yeah since we are working with it in uh, in this particular manner so that is why i'm just having one output for both of them all right i think now it's going to be fine so we are good to go to try it out let's run it in our android and ios and see how it exactly performs out there all right so i'll stop the ionic serve or should i go with another one all right that's better at first let's sync everything up i need cap sync all right the syncing is done now what we need to do we need to open it up in ios at first so i need cap open ios and i will just remove this part so that it will look pretty nice and look a bit bigger all right the xcode has opened up but where it is this is the one all right so it has opened up now what am i going to do i need to connect my iphone let me do that all right so my iphone is connected developer mode disabled how to enable it go to settings privacy and security let me just do that all right out there what i need to do to use iphone for development enable developer mode all right i found the developer mode i have opened it up i need to restart my device for that let's do that so this is iphone 13 that i'm using right now and in this particular manner you need to enable your developer mode out there all right it is restarted and connected again let me just check it there we go iphone has recently restarted that's fine okay so this is connected and now what am i going to do what's wrong out here with the ports i don't think there should be any error everything looks good out here right we have the proper identifier the team while well, in the general one also okay let's try to run this up i'll hit on run button the run destination is not valid for running the scheme app what's wrong 
again it is asking me for enabling the developer mode why is it so okay turn on fine all right now it is turned on i just got an option to turn that on directly the pop-up now it is on i'll hit the run button again and this time i don't think that i will get any issue let's check this out all right build succeeded let's see whether it is getting installed out here or not is busy no i'm not busy i am free kindly install it quickly i'm waiting for it let me cancel that i don't know why it is showing busy but uh, my system is pretty much free uh, let's run it again and see how it works but status bar orientation was deprecated in all right let's leave that for the time being i've run that again let's see this time again showing the same message i have to wait all right now this is gone and it is installing finally in my system all right it is about to install in my system there we go it is installed but it is showing untrusted developer for that in order to use that up i need to go to the settings and to the general one in the general i need to scroll down to vpn and device management just understand it up pretty nicely out there you will find developer app so you need to go inside that and trust that particular developer once i do that up everything is good to go now once that is done everything is nicely set up all right now i will turn on the screen recording and let's work with that so what i'm going to do i will open up the application and out here i will open up this part and let's start this scanning one so i will hit on the scan button will allow the permission and i'll scan at first the qr code you can see this is a secret qr code message is showing up again i'll go for the scanning one and i'll scan this time the barcode Okay, I got the result 1, 2, 3, 4. What is it? Why am I getting 1, 2, 3, 4? Have I done any mistake? I think I do. Because out here, I have passed 1, 2, 3, 4. Instead of that, I need to pass barcode string. So this dot barcode string, I need to pass. That's a mistake which I have done. Never mind. Let's sync it up again. Because we are not running live reload right now. And meanwhile, I will reload this too. Well, this is looking a little different. Not to worry. All right, syncing is done. iOS is already opened up. I simply need to run it again. All right, it has started running. Now what I'll do, since we have got a long string this time, I'll go out here again. But before that, let me open the screen recorder so that I can show you exactly what is happening. Now I'll hit on the scan button again. And this time, okay, QR code is scanned. That's great. But let me scan the barcode one. Come on scan it up what's wrong with this well, this one is scanned how about the barcode let me maximize it up let's try it once again for the barcode one well the barcode is not getting scanned why is it so let me go for 185 percent and let's scan it once again this time it got scanned i suppose yes but i'll just open the screen recording again to show you up so let me try it again i'll Hit on the scan button and this time we are scanning and out here you can see this is a secret barcode message so it is working nicely well it was pretty small so you can increase the height of it i think that will be better then it will be detected pretty nicely so that's what you can do out here but it is working pretty nicely in our ios all right now i'll make it back to the normal one and minimize it up in this particular manner again fit to window that's great so one thing we have tested now the next thing is to test it in our android device let's do that up all right now the android device is connected let me open it up in android so ionic cap open android so it will open up in android and then we will see how it exactly performs out there i'm sure it's going to work pretty nicely because we have already tested the qr code one but let's do it again all right things are good to go now i'll close it and hit on the run button because the device is already detected out here and let's wait for it to be done all right it is installed and it is showing up the application is opened up you can see it on the screen now what i'll do i'll maximize it up go out here even this one also i'll go for maximizing so that we can scan it pretty nicely at first i'm going to scan the qr code so let me just do that up i'll scan the qr code it is scanned you can see the message is showing up the second time i'm going to scan the barcode one so i'll make increase the size of it okay 150 is too much 125 so that i can see the barcode right this time let's go for it i'll tilt it up and scan the barcode it's taking a bit of time all right it is finding hard to detect so 
let me just try one thing let's minimize the top in this particular manner and i will give it a height let's see how it looks like giving it a height of 40 how it seems let's check it out all right i'll fit to screen okay this is not looking good how about a height of 80 it is the normal one how about 120 how about 140 not this much 140 yeah i think 180 will look better yes now let's check this out once again so let me just scan it once again this time hope it works why it is unable to scan the qr code is scanned properly why that second one is not getting scanned what if i reduce the size of it i'm not sure okay okay actually no no it's fine only i have increased it up doesn't make any difference because whatever changes i'm making i'm just scanning it up right so scanning won't make a difference out here how about this width let's check it out or should i increase it let's try that too 125 or 100 100 is also fine let's try this up all right let me just do one thing i will have one two three four instead of this particular one because the string is too big out here and instead of one two three four let me have little big number all right because it is not able to detect that part because it is too big so my, maybe my camera is not that good out here because of my android one android camera one so in your case it might work properly but in my case it is not working as expected so let me just try it again i have reduced it up and let's check this swap this time and what i'll do i'll just close the application and open it up again so the app has opened up now i'll go for the scanning part of this particular stuff let's see what it shows now it is showing up so there is something wrong with this barcode one if it is long that's according to me it's mostly the camera issue which i have because my camera out here for the android one is not that great obviously it's very old uh, so that is why this problem might be coming up but in your case like i said it won't come up in that particular manner i don't think so so we have nicely implemented all the things out here i hope it works for you pretty nicely so let me have this particular one only uh, instead of the other one so let us have this particular barcode out there i'll have this dot barcode string and in the string one let me have this particular number out here i think that will be better all right so this is the thing that you need to do and everything is good to go all right now i'll just have the minimize it up so we have successfully implemented the barcode scanning and the qr code scanning pretty nicely all right and you have seen how to generate also i have shared both the links out here so you can check this out and if you haven't checked the first part of this particular video you can just check that link is out there in the description and also at the i button you can just check it at the top right corner so this is the whole stuff about barcode scanning and qr code scanning along with the barcode and qr code generator to using the capacitor and cordova plugins well the cordova plugins like i said there is a slight problem with the android one all right so apart from that everything is good to go it works in ios like i have already shown you in the previous lecture so it will it will work in the barcode one also because you are just performing the scanning part other things are same so it's going to work pretty smoothly all right so with this we have come to the end of this particular video and it is time for me to sign off for this particular video and before signing off i would like to tell you that if you have if you like this particular video please hit the like button and i must tell you that many of you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you're watching it please do that this is a free content that i'm providing out there you don't need to pay any money for this particular stuff so why don't you share it and subscribe it so please do that up if you are liking it if you are not liking it definitely you can skip that part but if you're liking it i'm requesting you to do that up so that our community gets bigger and bigger don't you want that if you want please do that and with this let me sign off for this particular video and i'll see you in the next one